Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Lisa. And I'm Vincent. Today we're talking all about what it's been like living in our new construction home for six months. So we've been in our new home for six months now, which is kind of hard to believe it's gone by so quickly. Our builder is DR Horton, which some people say is the worst of the worst when it comes to home builders. But for us, what's been the worst so far in these six months is waiting on our furniture. So we ordered our a lot of our main furniture items pretty quickly after we moved in. And we're still waiting on still furniture. Still waiting. Um, <laughs> six months is a long time. And even some of it that we ordered on Black Friday, I mean, you would think it's been here, it would have been here by now. Um, but we're still waiting on things like dining chairs, one of our couches, some things that we've ordered many, many months ago that we knew we wanted well before we even moved into the home that we're still waiting on. Thankfully, some things that we ordered have come in. We do have one of our couches. We have our dining table. We have stools at our island. We have our Samsung frame TV, which Vincent is very excited about. Um, but we're still waiting on some stuff. But in the meantime, before we do all of our decor reveals and furniture reviews, check out our description below. We have a link to some of our Pinterest boards and you can follow along with my Pinterest boards, <laughs> what we plan on doing in some of the rooms. And as we add things and change things, you can get a sense of our style and what you'll see in our upcoming videos. All right, so one of the things that has happened so far uh, with living in this DR Horton home is that DR Horton had offered us a six month walkthrough. So normally uh, with these homes, you get an 11th month walkthrough right before the warranty ends. Uh, but to our surprise, we they reached out to us and said, hey, we're gonna come in at six months, see what needs to be fixed, and then we're gonna take care of it. And so uh, we were, walking around the house like okay what are they going to fix during these uh for the six month walkthrough because we know they're not going to fix nail pops just yet because they only do that once so you want to do it at the end uh, they weren't going to fix any of the cracks same thing they only do it once so you want to do that at the end so we're walking around like what is it they're going to fix because everything has been working extremely well and so um, since we knew they were coming, we had to find something for them to do. Uh, so we started walking around the house, looking at things in a very detailed way. And we did find a couple of items. And so we're gonna show you all some of the things we found uh, and what they fixed. Cause some of them they've already fixed, some of them they still have to come. So we're gonna take you all on a quick little walkthrough so that you can see the items that we did find. So we have these amazing double ovens, which we have so enjoyed using. We didn't have double ovens before we moved in here. One thing that's kind of given us an issue with the ovens is the light doesn't come on when we press the button if the oven is on and it's closed. So even now, if I try to turn the light on, it says on, but clearly it's not turned on. So that's something that won't work when it's closed. It does still come on when you open the oven um, but it's really convenient to be able to turn it on and off to monitor your food while you're using the oven. We mentioned this during our six month walkthrough with the DR Horton rep, and she recommended that we contact the manufacturer because this isn't something that DR Horton will fix. So we have to go through Whirlpool, and thankfully we listened to our, the instructions soon after we moved in and we registered our warranty for the oven and the different appliances and items that came with the home that had warranties make sure you do that as soon as you can once you move in some of these do have time limits on them and so you may notice something down the road that needs fixing but if you don't register your warranty you may not be able to get it corrected so we definitely want to have that fixed as soon as we can so something else we mentioned was that there was a gap near our fireplace stone between the flooring and the stone there was no stone there there was no mortar there there was just the foundation so we wanted them to see how they could fill in that gap so we don't just have a hole there between our floor and the fireplace and that's something they actually went ahead and fixed so you'll see that they filled in the mortar there and so we no longer have that gap it was awesome that they were go ahead, able to go ahead and fix that for us so let's look at something outside that we definitely need to have fixed it's kind of loud out here because they're still working in our neighborhood six months later but that's okay So if you look at our front door paint, it's kind of bubbling here. We 
have some bubbling here on the left and that paint job is not exactly perfect and we want our front door to be as nice as it can be. So they said that they're gonna send somebody to come and fix that paint as soon as possible so that we don't have that bubbling on the front door. Hi, doggy. <laughs> so we also have one more thing that can't be fixed right now. If we go into our half bath, let's see. So this won't be fixed for a while, but it's the worst nail pot we have, so we wanted to show it to you. The top of our half bath ceiling, it really came out there on us. It popped out and we had the little piece of paint come down. And so that nail pot is kind of an eyesore right now. Thankfully it's in the half bath, it's not in a main, main area, but we definitely will have that fixed during our 11th month walkthrough. All right, so we've had some maintenance items that we've had to do uh, since moving in. And these are things that any homeowner, honestly, is going to have to do. So you might as well prepare yourself for it. Uh, the one thing is taking care of the grass. Uh, and I'm going to show you a picture of uh, what our lawn looks like currently. It's still kind of dormant, uh, but it is definitely time for us to start feeding the lawn, putting some uh, fertilizer and stuff down so that when it wakes up, it has has something, uh, some food to eat essentially. Uh, but the grass is definitely has some, some weeds that are coming through. So we're having to take care of that. Uh, and one other thing that we had to do uh, since moving in is to stain our fence. Let us know in the comments below if you all want to see the process that we went through to stain our fence. It was definitely a, um, <laughs> a, a fun experience. <laughs> Uh, we started out doing it extremely manually and then a neighbor came by and was like, hey, y'all might want to use this instead. And so uh, let us know if y'all want to see that video because we did record it. Uh, but other than that, this house has been pretty easy to maintain. Uh, DR Horton did an amazing job with building the house. Uh, now we have to do an amazing job with keeping it up. Uh, and so, yeah, let us know what you all want to see uh, with regards to the maintenance of the house uh, and if there's anything that we can help you out with on that front. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We do read your comments and we get back to you. So let us know what else you want to see on our channel as far as home ownership or anything about our journey as new homeowners. We did record a three month video during our first three months living in the home. So check that out if you haven't seen that video. That's full of surprises and stories um, that we share in the first three months. We so appreciate all of our subscribers and all of our viewers. And Thank we'll you. see you in our next video. Peace.